dear students today we are going to discuss about the circle of villus and the arterial supply of the cerebrum first we will see what is meant by circle of villus circle of villus it is nothing but a circle formed by some arteries that circle supplies to the brain and the surrounding structures okay so circle of villus means nothing but it's a arterial circle formed by some arteries and what is the importance of that arterial circle it is supplies to the brain and the surrounding structures okay so circle of villus what is meant to circle of villus that point is clear now we'll see the formation of the circle of villus see this circle this is what the circle of villus it is formed by some arteries we'll see the formation see here in the lower part or on see here we can see two vertebral arteries these two vertebral arteries joins together to form a single artery this one this is the basilar artery basilar artery in the upper part of the brain stem okay it divides into two posterior cerebral arteries see here in the lower part or anterior to this uh, medulla here we can see the vertebral artery in front of the pons this vertebral artery joins together to form the basilar artery towards the upper part there it divides into two posterior cerebral artery see it once again two vertebral arteries joins to the form the basilar artery basilar artery divides to form two posterior cerebral artery at the same time here in the anterior part of the cranial cavity there we can see two internal carotid arteries see right and left internal carotid artery internal carotid artery here mainly in use two major arteries one is anterior cerebral artery the other one is middle cerebral artery so anterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery okay see right and left anterior cerebral artery these are the two anterior cerebral artery see this is a right internal carotid artery this is a left internal carotid artery here also in the left side also it gives one anterior cerebral and one internal sorry the one middle cerebral artery now see two anterior cerebral arteries these two anterior cerebral arteries are connected by anterior communicating artery okay like that this internal carotid artery which is connected to this posterior cerebral artery by another communicating artery this is known as posterior communicating artery so this is the posterior communicating artery of the opposite side now see now you can see an arterial circle like this so i can reach the same point okay so this arterial circle is known as what circle of villus now we'll see the formation see circle of villus it is formed by anterior cerebral artery posterior cerebral artery middle cerebral artery anterior communicating artery posterior communicating artery and the internal carotid artery we have to identify first one anterior cerebral artery where it is see this is the anterior cerebral artery so right and left side okay then posterior cerebral artery we already saw the these two basilar artery divides into two posterior cerebral arteries then middle cerebral artery see here internal carotid artery divides into anterior cerebral and middle cerebral then anterior communicating artery I told you this anterior cerebral arteries are connected by anterior communicating artery then posterior communicating artery where it is in see this internal carotid artery is connected to this posterior cerebral artery through this posterior communicating artery then the last one internal carotid artery and already told you this one is internal carotid artery it gives two major branches anterior and middle cerebral arteries okay so now we'll see the details so anterior and middle cerebral arteries are branches of internal carotid artery what is that anterior and middle cerebral arteries are branches of this internal carotid artery the point is clear and anterior cerebral artery arteries are connected by anterior communicating artery you see the point anterior cerebral arteries are connected by anterior communicating artery then see the third point right and left posterior cerebral arteries arise from basilar artery which is formed by right and left vertebral arteries see right and left vertebral arteries to ensure to form the basilar artery which divides into posterior cerebral arteries 
then internal carotid artery is connected to the posterior cerebral artery by posterior communicating artery correct now internal carotid artery which is connected to posterior cerebral artery by this posterior communicating artery okay then it is, so this is what the formation of the circle of pulleys so all these arteries joins together to form a circle or arterial circle this arterial circle it is known as circle of pulleys now the form what is in the circle of pulleys it is nothing but the arterial circle okay formed by some arteries what are those arteries these are the arteries and some details of those arteries clear now this circle of pulleys this circle of pulleys gives mainly two types of branches cortical branches and central branches cortical branches means which supplies to the cortex or outer gray matter and the central branches means which supplies to the inner white matter of the cerebrum so cortex means gray matter of the cerebrum and this one central branches means white matter of the cerebrum or it appears as the gray matter and supplies to the inner structures so two types of branches are arising from this circle of villis now we'll see the details what are the cortical branches first we'll see the cortical branches of anterior cerebral artery anterior cerebral artery gives mainly these three branches orbital frontal parietal then middle cerebral artery gives orbital frontal parietal plus temporal then posterior cerebral temporal occipital parieto occipital that's all these are the cortical branches of these three major arteries anterior cerebral middle cerebral and posterior cerebral arteries in addition to this cortical branches it gives some central branches or those central central branches are seen in groups so anterolateral group or anterolateral central branches so we are having right and left anterolateral okay then anteromedial we are having only a single anteromedial central group then posteromedial then posterolateral posterolateral we are having right and left see from here anterolateral group here also anterolateral group but from here we are having anteromedial so right and uh, left anterolateral left right anterolateral this one left anterolateral this one right anterolateral there comes that group and here anteromedial group like that from here post right left posterolateral from here right posterolateral and from here posteromedial group so we are having six groups of central branches okay so these two types of branches two types of branches means cortical and central branches supplies to the cerebrum okay now uh, what is meant by circle of pulleys and what are the branches of uh, sorry how it is formed and what are the two different types of branches of this circle of pulleys those points are clear now we are going to see the arterial supply of the cerebrum okay we have to see the arterial supply of supralateral surface then medial surface then inferior surface okay first we will see the arterial supply of supralateral surface see major part of the supralateral surface is supplied by middle cerebral artery except a small area near to this supramedial border see this is a supramedial border this border is a supramedial or here comes a supramedial border okay this area which is supplied by anterior cerebral artery so major part is supplied by middle cerebral artery except this area is supplied by anterior cerebral artery not only that the here the occipital lobe and the lower part of the temporal lobe okay it is supplied by posterior cerebral artery keep in mind this occipital lobe always it is supplied by posterior cerebral artery so posterior lobe and a part of the temporal lobe this area it is supplied by occipital lobe and a part of the temporal lobe this area which is supplied by posterior cerebral artery major part is supplied by middle cerebral artery area near to the supramedial border it is supplied by anterior cerebral artery now we are moving to the medial surface see this is a medial surface major part of the medial surface is supplied by anterior cerebral artery see here actually this anterior cerebral is seen above the corpus callosum like this cursor see it starts from here then it runs backward so this is the area of 
this anterior cerebral artery okay anyway this medial surface major part of the medial surface is supplied by anterior cerebrum except the occipital lobe occipital lobe always supplied by posterior cerebral artery now we are going to the inferior surface inferior surface i told you it is having orbital part and or, or orbital surface and tendorial surface okay first we will see the orbital surface there we can see two arteries okay see this is this area which is supplied by anterior cerebral artery or medial part of the orbital surface see this is the orbital surface okay May its medial part is supplied by anterior cerebral its lateral part is supplied by middle cerebral artery so two artery mainly two arteries are seen in this orbital surface then tendorial surface tendorial surface of course occipital lobe occipital lobe which is always supplied by posterior cerebral okay so occipital pole or occipital lobe is supplied by posterior cerebral but here temporal pole temporal pole is supplied by the same artery this artery which artery middle cerebral artery so here in the tendorial surface there also we can see two arteries posterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery so this is what the arterial supply of the cerebrum we can see all the three diagrams here see supralateral surface see it once again major part of the supralateral surface is supplied by middle cerebral artery in addition to this middle cerebral here we can see anterior cerebral artery and posterior cerebral artery medial surface major part is supplied by anterior cerebral in addition to that we can see the posterior cerebral in inferior cerebrus all the three artery arteries are there the orbital surface anterior and middle cerebral artery the tendorial surface middle cer cerebral and posterior cerebral artery okay the remaining details venous drainage you are ready to from your textbook